Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four, and against my better judgment, I'm gonna continue playing the park. So in the last episode, we went on this little like love boat swan ride in the water, and heard the boring ass fucking story of Hansel and Gretel. And just when I was like, hmm, look, I made it through the tunnel, a swan turned around and stared at me, quite, quite evilly. I didn't like that. So let's let's continue. Okay, so I'm supposed to find a flashlight. Whoa, whoops, what did I do? That was weird. Sorry about that. Um, so. I think I'm supposed to go into this dude's mouth next, but I need to find a flashlight. And I have no idea where I'm supposed to find it, so I'm just gonna wander around for a little bit. You know, one thing about this game is the little save icon is constantly going. Um, you, usually in the game when it does that, it means that something bad is about to happen, but it does it all the time. So I'm starting to think that... Oh, what's this? A bathroom? So I'm starting to think that it's just... Did you hear that? Tell him. Catch me, mom. Yeah, catch me, you fucking dick. Is this the women's room? Oh, in the men's room. I was like, where's the other bathroom? No? Good. Um, well, shit. We're gonna find a flashlight. And why was that bench talking to me? Oh, I thought that was a flashlight. Oh, I didn't realize there was a whole path right here. I thought the only place I could go was up in that fucking mouth. Let's go up this dark path. Where did you go? Oh, sounds like UFOs. Dude, I don't know if it's my graphic settings or what, but these plants keep materializing and I think that they are people. Why does it say follow the trail? I was following the trail. Weird thing to do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh look, another it's accident. This place. It's a free candy van. Park maintenance. Please tell me that's oil. Open door. I'm bracing myself. Hey, it's Freddy. What's up, Freddy? What are you doing, dude? Despite their constant... Okay, so this is... The customers will come out of simple curiosity. Okay, I think this has to do with, like, something bad's happening, but they're like, oh, well, people will still come. So, Freddy? When did you learn how to drive, Freddy? Okay, let's get out of here. See... I thought I was going to get jump scared, and I did, so I was like, you know what, I'm not going to let you scare me. Okay, sounds like it's kind of weird voice. Every now and then it takes away my ability to run. I don't know if that's a bug or part of the story. I think it's probably just a bug. Because they do it in a very weird way. up there fucking Cthulhu if Cthulhu was a drag queen a gorgeous drag queen by the way I have nothing against drag queens let's go Are those jellyfish are people's clothes that music is not at all disturbing not at all what is that thing supposed to be it's a chicken or a dinosaur or some shit. This I can't. old thing used to make the blood run to my head. <laughs> make me dizzy. Examine a report? Confused. Oh, there's a report over there. Hello. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Norma Creed. This is the name of a witness taken by Off Officer on Duty, Sheriff Bannerman. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They gave me the creeps. It's silly, I know. 
Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more fell away, it was a giant dick. When you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice, but the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little faster like you were a prey, and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Sh shit. Okay. This thread. I don't see any ice sculptures. I do see plenty of, like, snow and crap, though. <sighs> well, let's keep going, then. Well... That's just great. Oh, look, there's like a little booth or something over here. Bro. Bro, you got a flashlight? Oh. Guess not. Well, I guess I'm supposed to go inside and like go into that booth? Stop making it so I can't run. Okay. Fuck you! I'm not riding that fucking thing. I'm probably gonna end up riding it. Um, but first I wanna go in here. Increase speed and decrease speed? Why would I want to do either of those things? Both of those sound like they would have horrifying outcomes. I like how when I'm just standing here, she kind of like shifts her weight around on her feet. Like, I'm not even touching the mouse right now. She just like... I can just see her in her head like... <sighs> Fuck it. Okay. Oh man, they want me to ride that stupid thing, don't they? I don't really want to mess with the speed until I know what's going on, though. So I'm going to brace myself. Are, are you with me, guys? Are, are you with me? Because... Oh, okay, let's go. I can't get on while it's moving. Oh! I'm glad this chick knows everything better than I do. Let's turn that shit off, then. Do I have to hold it down? Oh. Wait. But if I get on, while the machine's off, it's going to start it back up. I'm just saying. Dude, that is almost stopped. Let's keep going. Oh, look, it stopped finally. God, son of a bitch. Surely she realizes the logic behind this. Okay. I mean, she's kind of a pain in the ass, but she's not a... Stupid person, I don't think. Alright, you dumb squirrel. Let's ride the fucking Octatron. I'm not gonna jump. I have my unicorn. I'm not gonna move the camera. I'm just gonna watch the fucking ride. See how many times I can die. Okay. So I'm getting a little high. Who wouldn't? This thing is really fast. It's like a centrifuge. Oh, come on. Whoa! What was that? Beetlejuice? That's the whole ride? Wait, is it already stopping? That was the whole fucking ride? Wait, am I gonna go to get off and that thing's gonna pop out and eat my head? I'm waiting for it to pop out and eat my head. Come on, you asshole. You know you want to do it. Wait, there's somebody... I saw you! There was somebody in that booth. Well... Shit. That was... See, these rides are so boring. How does this place stay in business? There was somebody in there. 
Huh. So, so, so far, nothing has eaten my face. I had an angry swan stare at me, and then I had some really bad architecture. Okay. Read that. This is a lot of, a lot of shit. I kind of wish I had a text option in this. I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game can be changed with enough money, but no matter how much money talks, it can't conjure up missing plans from thin air. I've tried contacting the organization who sold me these plans, and they are stonewalling me. Every contact that I had, every meeting place that I have, has watched are swept a Fuck, I can't read. I have a sinking feeling that I have been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find in this place regardless. The harvesting machines, the transport mechanisms, etc. I'd probably bet Nicholas... Let Nicholas name them something cute for the day we open the park. They will be rides after, they will be rides after all. Okay. Wow. This park is super boring. How do they stay in business? Even uh, when they're really fucking scary, they're still really boring. That's okay. Let's go on a hike, guys. I wonder what happens if I turn that thing, the speed, like, all the way up. Does it, like, fall off and chop my head off? Alright, let's just go up here. See if I can find any more dead bears with knives in their eyeballs. Any rocks? Any, uh... Where's that fucking d killer squirrel, anyway? Or Chad the Chipmunk, that's what it was. This is a long way to walk. So far, I've only seen one bathroom here, and You guys get your accommodations. Oh, there's another... Is that the way I came? It is, isn't it? Shit. Yep, there's Freddy. See you, Freddy. Well, shit. Okay, I'm gonna go back the other way. So far, I'm doing pretty good. I was actually really worried about getting this game, and I obviously am not out of the woods yet, or out of the park, so to speak, but I'm, I feel like I'm doing okay so far. This is a manageable game for me, but again, games always get really weird, especially towards the end, and I don't even know how far into it I am. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. I'm sure that's perfectly normal. I mean, when you have a baby come out of you, pretty much from out of nowhere, I I can't see how your first thought could be, oh my god, that thing is gorgeous. Because they're probably not. The fuck are you? This thing looks like that... Uh, you know that guy from uh, Beetlejuice? The one that like stretches out his nose? If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. Stop making it so I can't run. What's this thing? I know those are like pillars, but they all look- crashes and 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, the bumper cars. I know those are supposed to be like pillars or something, but they look like fucking uh, mummies or tombs or something. Bumper cars. Why the fuck not? Let's do it. There's one that's been retired. Can't imagine why. Shocking. Okay.
Okay. Battery's gone. Oh, stop messing with my vision. I'm not scared of you. Am I supposed to ride one of these things? Oh, there's one at the end here that has its lights on. Are you calling to me? Here I come, baby. Examine accident report. Okay, employee name Francis Dufresne. October 1976. La 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 la. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars under Francis, who was standing directly directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. Good idea. Good, good description. Did the injured employee see a doctor? Yes. You mean the coroner? If yes, did you file an employer's portion of the workers' compensation form? Yes. Does that mean they're going to pay for the funeral? Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. Well, what could have been done to prevent this accident or incident? Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screening for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Shit. I was like so so worried about getting this game and now that I actually have it I'm just like making fun of it I think that's that's just a good idea am I supposed to go get this stupid bumper car you're gonna shock the fuck out of me aren't you little shit oh I can't do anything with it oh stairs you know what? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. So, we went on the Octatron. Boring. Went on the bumper cars. Boring. I almost died, but still boring. Um, so far, I don't see anything to be scared of, except for the fact that Chad the Chipmunk is out there somewhere making ice sculptures with eyeballs on them. Um, but whatever. So drop me in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this episode. If you thought it was awesome, please hit like and maybe share it with a friend. And also with you next time. But until then, stay frosty. Uh, no! Oh my god. Creature, attack! Ah, oh, shit.